the idea is to reassure America's commitment to its allies. The Secretary of State Mike Pompeo delivering what turned out to be a harsh criticism of former President Obama's Middle East policy while he was president during a speech Pompeo made earlier today in Cairo. Take a listen. Remember, it was here, here in this city, that another American stood before you. He told you that radical Islamist terrorism does not stem from an ideology. He told you that uh, he told you that 9/11 led my country to abandon its ideals, particularly in the Middle East. He told you that the United States and the Muslim world needed quote a new beginning. End of quote. The results of these misjudgments have been dire. Walid Ferris joins us, Fox News National Security and Foreign Affairs Analyst from Washington. Tough stuff, obviously, Walid, about a former president there from the current Secretary of State who you know, go, goes on to say that a, the wishful thinking of the Obama era, even though, as you heard, he didn't mention the former president by name, emboldened Iran. What did you make of it? Well, look, in general terms, Secretary Pompeo has the full right uh, to come and say that we have changed policy. The Trump campaign announced those principles. 2016 and 2017, when the president went to Riyadh and addressed 50 Arab and Muslim leaders, he basically said the same without mentioning the previous administration. I think mm -hmm. the, the failure of the administration to implement over end of 2017, 2018 is due to domestic right. opposition. And that's why Secretary Pompeo is criticizing the, the criticism of this administration, though, on a somewhat different subject, but in the same region, is that pulling out of Syria too quickly might embolden Iran and again resurrect ISIS. What do you say to that? Well, I say to that that this should remind us of when the previous administration withdrew from Iraq, much larger, and the consequences were dire. We mm -hmm. had ISIS, we had the Kurds being brutalized, and we, we need to learn from that lesson right. in Syria. So the president does seem to be shifting gears on that a little bit, and it sounds like you think that's a, that's a good idea. Before we let you go, Waleed, as we kind of approach the top of the hour here, I want to get your, your thoughts on another important story. The president earlier today tweeted, because of the Democrats and transients on border security and the great importance of safety for our nation. I'm respectfully canceling my very important trip to Davos, Switzerland for the World Economic Forum. Warmest regards and apologies to the World Economic Forum. I guess when I saw that, my question was, and maybe this is kind of putting it to, together too much, but maybe this has an impact on the trade talks with China because there were reports the president might meet with China's vice president on the sidelines in, in Davos. Do you think it'll slow things down now? No. It's all about optics. Everybody who goes to Davos, and I know that very closely, <laughs> goes there to send a picture. Real negotiations actually do not even happen there. They happen between task forces. So actually, he's winning on two points. He's sending a message that he has an urgency, a national security agency. So he tells the international community what are his priorities, and then he's telling the American public, I'm not going to Davos, I'm going to the border. Okay. You think we're doing okay on China, by the way, making some progress from what you can pick up real quick? I, th I think that China is telling us we're doing okay from their own statements, but of course, it's going to be a long road. It's not an overnight issue. No. no well, that's, that's the thing people have to keep in mind, is that yeah, the, if absolutely. they're hoping to, to have it solved the next 30 to 60 days, maybe the hope should be that at least we get an extension and they keep talking, but it might take a little bit longer, right? Okay. Uh, Waleed, it's always good to see you, sir. Thank you for coming on.